Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com, new look, new setup. Hey, we back. But let's get started with actually talking about all of the common mistakes that people make while learning to code. So let's get started. All right, guys, common mistake number one, very simple. People go through courses as if it was a Netflix TV series. You can't just continue watching a tutorial, a course without actually putting it into practice. Okay. If you're not putting it into practice, whatever you're learning, that pretty much goes over your head. It's that simple. If you don't go in and actually start building something as you learn with the course, you are not actually taking all of the information in and actually grasping all of the knowledge and whatever the person is actually teaching you. That's just how it is. Common mistake number two is people don't actually start working on their portfolio till they feel they are comfortable to actually know how to code. And then they start working on their portfolio. That don't make no sense. Everything that you do should be towards your portfolio. Something that you could be proud of, something that you can show to people, hey, I can be an asset to the team, I can be an asset to your company. If you're just building things just to build it, a little BS JavaScript calculator or a BS snake game, those things don't show anything as far as like, hey, can this guy come in and become an asset? Because I've never heard of anybody being like, hey, man, he got a killer JavaScript, no snake game. Like, ain't nobody out here hiring for that, okay? And for JavaScript calculators, it makes no sense, okay? So what I would say is, if you're gonna start building something, even with a course or if with an instructor or a YouTuber or whoever it is, make sure it's something that you can actually transfer it to the real world. That's it. Common mistake number three, trying to catch them all, man. This is not Pokemon, okay? You can't catch them all, all right? I know some of you guys trying to learn React, trying to learn Angular, trying to learn Vue.js, trying to learn jQuery, trying to learn uh, Backbone, trying to learn uh, Ember, trying to learn uh, the Teletubby framework, whatever pops up in front of your screen for the day that YouTube puts in front of you and somebody did a bullshit tutorial, you're trying to learn it. Guys, you can go and catch them all. You have to choose one framework, one library, one backend framework and stick with it. One programming language and stick with it, okay? Just stick with it, that's it. That's my advice. If you stick with something, doesn't matter what it is, stick with a stack, right? Go in, focus on that, and then try to master as much as you can with technologies or frameworks or libraries that are related to that, okay? Don't go in trying to catch them all because you could be here for years. There's guys that have been here 10 years, 15 years, and they haven't caught them all. So you as a junior developer trying to catch them all on your first month, come on, bro. Number four. Another common mistake that I see is leaving things halfway done, all right? I see a lot of people that will go in and they'll start working on a project, and in the beginning, everything is smooth, everything is good, and then they're like, man, Halfway through, they saw a YouTube video about something else, they saw a blog post, they saw a post on Twitter, and then now whatever project they were working on, eh, that's old news. I'm leaving that for another day. I'll come back to it three years later. Sure you will. <laughs> Like, people do this all the time, right? They come in, they start something, and they never finish it, okay? Try to finish your projects, right? Or at least get it to a point where it's usable because you already invested enough time into it, so make sure you go in and finish those projects. 